Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is about SQL high paying jobs. If you're new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. I make content to help you on your QA and automation journey. Now back to the video. SQL or structural query language can be your key or gateway to a lot of different job opportunities. The more you develop your SQL skills, the more options you give yourself for your career path. In this video, we'll talk about five high paying jobs that involve knowing SQL. And first off, I want to say all these salaries are from Glassdoor.com. I honestly think that some of them are actually on the lower side. I've known people in each of these categories make even more than what's stated here. And always remember, your salary is going to range depending on your experience and location of living. If you have a low cost of living where you live at, you'll probably get paid a little less. That's just how things go. And most importantly, remember, these salaries are not guaranteed. There is something for you to aim at and strive for. So first on our list is data scientist and data analyst. As a data scientist, you must examine large amounts of data. To understand the data, they must create complex data modeling techniques. From there, they provide and generate reports based on their findings. They then give insights based on statistics for their clients and the management of business. And for data scientists, it was on average 124,000, with the possible range between 77,000 and 200 plus thousand. Next on the list, QA engineer, automation engineer, test engineer, that whole category I'm gonna group together for now. On the automation side, you have a higher ceiling for your pay, but just for the sake of this video, I'm putting all of them in one category, because for all of them, you need to know SQL. And the average pay for these are A2000, and a range being from 54,000 to 126,000 on average. As a QA engineer, your goal is to guarantee the quality of a team's application or product before it reaches an end user. The earlier you catch a problem, the less it'll cost to fix it. During the product's testing phase, you make sure the product meets the end user or client's expectations. All of this will be documented and if any bugs or unexpected behaviors are found, they are communicated with the team. Next, software engineer or software developer. Once again, these are interchangeable. And a medium salary for this is 105,000. As a software engineer, you are the creator of applications and software programs. You get requirements and expectations from a client or product owner and then develop software that meets these specifications. You may also be part of the design phase of a software solution. The duties of a software engineer are usually done using programming languages as well as other tools and technology. Next on this list, database administrator. The average salary here is 91,000. As the name suggests, as a database administrator, you are in charge of managing the company databases. As part of the role, you must make sure that the databases are properly maintained, organized, and secured. You would also be required to continuously find ways to make the processes more efficient. You would also be in charge of the permissions of the users of the database and troubleshooting any problems or bugs that come up. And last on our list is business analyst. The average salary here is 81,000. As a business analyst, you mix two different fields together. You combine business development skills with IT skills to meet requirements and provide solutions for businesses. Tasks of a business analyst can include being a person in charge of creating reports and educating clients about how effective their current processes are and systems are. You may also help the client in research, problem solving, and identifying problems. So now you see how SQL can be a gateway to make a lot of money. But don't forget, don't go into a job just for the money because you don't be miserable your whole life just for the sake of money. Money can solve money problems, but can't solve everything. If you currently work in any of these industries and want to share your salary experiences, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, also leave that in the comment section. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, don't forget to learn something new today.